<clears throat> hey y'all, I got this Bob XL from Century. Um, wanted to learn some new, new moves, some striking type of moves and practice these things for repetition. But I think this thing was uh, what I had in mind. This is what I had in mind to work on some realistic type of striking and just practicing familiarity with the certain certain uh, hit points, certain strike areas. But so I've seen this in the past, but I never kind of looked fun to use it. But I just here recently, I wanted to start to do it. So got this. There's different versions of this. Um, this is the Bob XL, if I'm not mistaken. It's got a large container that you can fill with water or sand. Probably about a 20, 20 gallon tank. Took a long time to fill that up with water from a pitcher. But of course you could do that with a water hose depending where you, where you, what do you, what do you, what do you have access to. I got this base on the bottom as well. There's this base that supposed to help it not rock back and forth so, so easily. It's pretty sturdy as it is, but when you add the base on it, it's a little bit more, it traps it into this circle, but it still moves a little bit. I wish it wouldn't move at all, but when you're kicking it and hitting it, of course it's gonna bounce. I've got this in an upstairs location, so I can definitely still hear the, the moves going on. Um, it kind of, it jumps around the floor a little bit, just in terms of like some racket, but it's not too bad if, you, if it's not a constant noise thing. So I added this, um, this jacket does not come with the bob. It's a, it's an accessory. You can, so you basically you add on this straight jacket that gives it arms. So you can practice different, different moves and different, different functions with the, you know, imagine that the arms are in the way to strike. Solid, durable, um, not so hard to where you can't strike it and you can wear gloves, of course, but you could, I do it bare hands. It doesn't seem to be really that bothersome to me. I might invest in some light gloves just to for added protection, but it's pretty realistic. You you don't feel bones, but you feel it's it's a structure of a face. So you can imagine hitting somebody's pressure points right there and absorb your absorbs your your pressure pretty good. You got the nose, you got eyes, you got the chin, head, a little bit of hair up here. So pretty durable. Yeah. It takes it takes the shot pretty good. Barehanded. I don't really think I need gloves, but it'd just be that much more of a powerful punch. So you got this jacket that straps on. People complain that this jacket doesn't fit very well, but I mean look at it. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It's not gonna be completely flat to the body of the bob. It doesn't take anything away from body. The body. It's just like a thin piece of poly leatherish fake leather type of stuff. But the arms are just just to give you something to reference with your with your hand and with your mind to know that the, there's the other person has arms. A strike can come. You got to be able to account for those for those positions. <clears throat> so so far so good. You can do. You can add kicks in. It absorbs everything really nicely. You kick lower. This is a longer bob. Some of the bobs don't have this waist, so you gotta keep it up, keep it up here a little bit more. But this is forgiving if you slip a little bit and kick down here. In fact, there's some areas down here that you do want to kick in, anyways, for self-defense. But it would kind of be nice if it was the whole body, if the legs were down. You could use the legs as references for kicking and whatnot, but I guess they haven't created that yet. So it's heavy, it's durable, it's soft, it's realistic. The jacket was an additional, additional expense, and so was this base down here for the floor. I've got this in a, in a martial arts kind of practice area zone. So wherever you may put this on, in the garage, in the house, wherever, it will fit kind of nicely in there. It's not, I'd say it's about five, five and a half feet tall. Uh, it can, it can rise and it can lower and raise. You just have to use these, these notches on the, on the post and go up and down. Not too, not too hard to take off. And it's pretty, once it's locked into place, it stays in the height you want to. So it can go another, I would say another six inches to six to 12 inches up. But I like to have it like more or less six foot, five to six feet, but you can definitely go a little higher, several inches up. So overall, Bob XL, 
Pretty good for striking, utilizing for different movements, different uh, repetitive practicing, self-defense, martial arts, MMA, fun, fun striking, self-defense oriented oriented um, item to use in your to put in your gym. So, hope you all enjoy this. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Uh, it's been fun for me, and I'm gonna get good with it. Y'all take care. Peace.